Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of American Dad Apocalypse Soon. We are in week three of the Great Vacation Challenge. Time to do a little update on where I've been, and do a little update on a big mistake that I just made, and uh, just make some progress. I'm nowhere near anywhere close to uh, what I've heard a lot of people, I've heard people in like the hundreds of, I think the highest I heard was 400 plus, so congratulations to everybody that's been grinding like crazy and making it a long way. That is not my... Uh, <laughs> something I'm able to do considering uh, that I have four events I'm trying to get through at the same time. So anyway, I made a little bit of progress. So we'll, we'll jump in there in a moment and see where that's at. Um, as I'm trying to do most videos these days, I want to give a quick shout out to everybody who is supporting the channel using uh, either Buy Me a Coffee or YouTube memberships. You can see all those down below in the ticker. And then if you're interested, you can see the details in the description on how to become a member. So thank you to Logo and Flart, two members from my Zero City Clan, for buying me coffees. I very much appreciate that. And as well as YouTube members, they have monthly memberships that are available. And Keith Giles, Ashton, and Amrish, Amrish have been supporting the channel through monthly memberships. Membership. So thank you to all five of you for your support. I very much appreciate that. All right, let's jump in and see where I am. And you can see it's not very far. Only level 58. A lot of a lot of items to get because I haven't. Yeah, I basically get in, try to get my dailies done, try to get the minimum quest done as long as it's not a lab because I don't have time to do labs. And then I get out. So I, I think I have some, some of these shells to get in mails too. So we'll go ahead and get those as well. But um, definitely need to make a little bit of progress. I've spent a few different, actually before we get into that, I spent a few different golden turds several times and I'm back up to 78,000. So this is the event that the golden turds just flow in. They just keep going. So uh, I've been working on leveling up my uh, kitchen. My kitchen's up to level 11 now and I'm almost at 100, 100K production per hour. So uh, very shortly I have another uh, mythic um, chef coming actually. So that'll put me over the 100,000 per hour, which is pretty cool. And I upgraded my uh kitchen as well or my food storage to level 10 so i can now max that out to 900,000, which is very helpful and my bank i believe yep my mint is up to level 11 and i'm now in the process of maxing out my r coin mining i'm doing my first one right now and i'm breaking them down into thirds so just doing small upgrades at a time and then as well as I'm now upgrading my max bank so I can cover hold 15 million. And the reason I'm doing that, and I, also, I did wood storage as well. That one's maxed out. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get my cloning room updated so I can get nine more people, nine more clones in my uh, uh, house here. So obviously I'm low on a bunch of these resources, but I'm getting up there. So that's why uh, a lot of my resources are probably pretty good and people keep stealing them because I'm up so high. So um, as I found out, I can't actually can't do an upgrade while I have clones going on. So um, I was maxed out. I wasn't, I didn't really have anybody I want to get rid of, but I did just fully ma uh, train a new chef. So I kicked out somebody who wasn't uh, a chef talent. And then I've been slowly working through these. I got rid of a three star, two star. This is a three star. So as soon as that three stars uh, fully matured, I'll go ahead and clear this one out. And then about that time, I'll be able to, uh, um, one of these rooms will be finished so that I can start updating my, uh, my clone room so I can start getting some more Rogers. So then I can start cycling through and going for some more um, mythic talents. Um, one more update oh you know we can talk about two different things here one i went ahead i have my first mythic uh mystic i don't like oh it is mythic why can't they mystic yeah i don't know why i keep calling it mythic mystic talent this is my first um fighter type mystic talent and uh I, from what I can see, it's fairly useless. I have them on uh, an assassin, so maybe that's part of the problem, but um, they hardly dodge at all, so it's it's a very waste of power. Um, it's not the best fighter in the world anyway, because it's got low-level daggers, and I'm still trying to keep my power down, so you know it's not super fantastic anyway, and I could, I could give them some more dodge to make them more dodgy, but uh, this is really increasing my power a lot by having a mystic talent up there, so... I don't know. That doesn't. It doesn't seem very useful to me. So um, probably be getting that one out of the rotation here sometime soon. Uh, but the problem I made is I accidentally uh, went into and, I, and my strategy in this game and all the games I cover is I try to keep my historic high low, and that is you know it's going to help you when you do things like the shopping mall because it's based on your historic high, which is the max um, power that you went into a fight with, and your 
last person that you fight here in the shopping mall is based on that number so um i accident i usually lower i don't put it in my best fighters and have my um total power lower so then i my competition there is lower and i made a mistake and just put in my max squad and massively increased my historic high so uh, shopping malls have gotten significantly harder um which is quite uh quite unfortunate the the possible good news is obviously with uh situation room 11 here now we're going to start having some power increases anyway so we got these add-ons here which i don't have anything useful at the moment well i think we'll get some in this uh when i start opening some things from this event so that'll be helpful uh these are the only two add-ons i've unlocked so far um just these two and not really using them yet obviously but that's going to increase my power and then um once we start getting the sets going which i know they're not called sets in this game they are the uh support the identity workshop so once i start working on identities then uh that's going to massively increase the power so obviously i'm going to get my power up there at some point anyway uh just be struggling a little bit until i get to that point so um when am i going to do this uh, identity workshop probably fairly soon to be honest with you i think i'm going to finish maxing out my r coins here possibly update my especially since i'll start getting some new workers coming in i'll max out my uh, v room training here so i can get them up to 14s because right now i can uh, I'm, I'm training people to uh eights this would be my third and fourth going to eights but they're not really they have other other jobs in the in the house so but they're in there just trying to help help my production which is really low 244 very bad which obviously is a little bit lower because of this one so and i don't have any gear either which hopefully we'll get some of that in this event um and obviously the clone room will be next so that'll be those are what i'm focusing on then i'll probably start looking at the identities um i'm in no hurry for it because i don't have a lot of resources i'm not doing labs so i don't have the right resources from the labs to craft stuff so i'm in not I'm not in a huge hurry at all um i'll get there for sure um i'm just not sure when it's going to happen all right, now let's go ahead and get in and see what I'm missing here. A lot of stuff, obviously. I got 56 items open. I'm just, instead of like saving the big chest for the end, which I sometimes do, it's kind of a pain scrolling back and forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and take everything as we get to it here. And then I'll probably go see if I, how many more levels I can get by opening my mail. Because I, I think there is a bit in there. I haven't been looking at that for a while. I'm just taking everything. I think my premium is about out, so I think we'll have some options for premium here, which is kind of nice. This is one of my favorite parts of this event. We have so many of these legendary shards coming in, which is hugely helpful once you hit SR11. I don't ever do anything with uh, anything but low epic, so getting a blue, not very exciting. I'm gonna put this right here on the edge of the screen. We'll come back to that in a moment. I will get into labs here eventually, but let's take the golden turds. We'll take parts. I'm not using any of those. What is this? It's a five-star Roger, which these will come in handy when uh, when I update my clone room because I'm going to basically take them in, put them in, and farm them in cloning, and then kick them out. So um, unless you know this guy happens to have a good talent, which would be fantastic. What is this chest? Um, identity materials, nice. Well, obviously we need those, so that'll be good. And it's a good one. And uh, what is this one? Epics and rares and a possibility of a legendary. I think I have tons of these in my inventory from all the previous events. I never opened them, so we got two of them on that one. So that was a total of three. Fantastic. All right, I don't have any of the specials, so I'm not even gonna, I was gonna go back and show you that I don't have them, but there's really no point. I don't have any of the specials, so let's see if we uh hopefully can get Ooh, i also need identity so um our add-ons um looking for legendary obviously Ooh, yes thank you very much i need those art coins yes golden turds yes art coins and i'm gonna actually go look to see where i'm at because i don't want to be wasting that uh art coin there epic armor add-on taking damage 20 percent chance to increase on energy damage that's just a basic one that's not very exciting so I'm going to back out real quick. So I got 102,000 and I can hold a maximum of 300. So we're okay. Um, Cause obviously my goal is going to be to open up add-ons and all these other people. Once I get 150, uh, I try to keep my R coins as low as possible because I don't want people to steal them. And now we got to go back, but that was worth it. That was a, uh, I know I didn't get any of the event items, but 
that right there is, you know, it's not, I won't say it's better, but highly, highly needed. So, uh, very good. And with all the golden turds on the uh, event, we should probably cross 80,000 on, on that as well. So definitely need to start spending them. Now that I'm SR11, I might actually do that. What is this? Ooh, nice. That might put us, put us over 100,000 as well for uh, food production. Very nice. And this one is just a basic take a damage, 18 to restore health. The one I'm looking for here is increase health. Something like a... Uh, I was going to say 30 and 65, but that's for the armor. So I'm not sure what the best is for the add-on, but um, okay. Let's keep going. Level 31. Ooh, we got a legendary reroll. We can find use for that. That's for sure. Well, that's not a legendary. That's rare. I saw the orange around it, so I thought it was legendary. All right. Well, maybe we can get lucky with that one. I actually had a rare one. I just had to use it just because, and I got a legendary uh, ener energy damage of some sort. So um, you can get rare uh, legendaries with rares, so... It's a possibility. More golden turds. Nice. All right, here we got an event item. Um, part of what, one of the other things I need to look at with my uh, increased historic high is starting to relook at weapons because now with this event, I'm noticing like my squad was really good. I was able to handle people easily uh, a million plus higher than me in power, and even more than that, I've beaten people in the five millions. But now, I, it's not quite so easy. I actually lost to somebody lower power than me for the first time in, I can't even tell you how long, recently. Um, and people at 3.5 million to my 2.8 or whatever uh, was no longer a guaranteed win anymore. So I need to go revisit all these weapons and find out, uh, find out what I need to do to rework my squad. And I'll probably do that in the next video, potentially. Uh, when attacking, has a 32% chance of stunning an enemy for 2.5 seconds. When weapons basically both triggered, deals damage to enemies around that target. 8% of the wheel is fine. Okay. So this is actually a good one. And once you get the hologram on it, it, uh, I believe, as long as it's like the other ones, it actually causes you to stun multiple. Uh, so that's certainly good. Plus, you're getting extra damage in there as well. So um, that's nice. But weird stickers, that's for sure. Interesting. All right, energy armor once in a while, 75% chance to replicate 140% of the health current attack target as restored by healing. Of the health, the current attack target has restored by... I had a hard time with this one last time, too. Um, legendary armor. Chance to replicate of the health of the current attack target has restored by healing. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe that's good. I can't understand what those words are supposed to mean. All right, epic reroll, nice. Another good thing about these events, it looks like we're getting lots of rerolls. Very good. Obviously, this is a bottom row, so you got to buy the pass to get those. Epic stickers, of course. Uh, these are always good. Obviously, the uh, epic glue. Uh, I have tons of them because I haven't been uh, doing as many stickers, sticker leveling lately. I use a couple here and there. Uh, which is good, but I haven't used tons. Ooh, our first legendary add-on. Hopefully it's a good one, but I have a feeling it's just a basic one. Uh, so it's not going to be one of the uh, premium Mimosa add-ons or the event add-ons, but uh, has a chance to still be uh, immediately useful. When attacking, 35% chance to reduce damage done. Okay. So I'm going to hold off on that until the end. Actually, no, that's not true. Here's another one of these. Look at that. Two more of them. We've gotten five of these right in this event. Very nice. I actually have to go open those up. All right, what do we have here? Our first legendary add-on is 23% chance to restore 7%. This one, I personally, um, I don't know, I guess it's okay, but with some of the benefits you get from your hero, you get this kind of uh, added functionality. I guess the extra health is good. You get extra damage, which is good. Um, the stickers are not fantastic. I don't know. I, I Maybe I'll use it because actually we get extra damage and health, so maybe it's fine. But the 23% to get 7, that's just seems kind of useless to me. All right, we got a deal. I'm pretty sure this is where our $99 deals start coming in. Let's look at this. 100,000 100, R coins? 300,000 R coins. Very nice. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, sure. Another legendary health sticker. Very good. All right, let's go see what we have here. Legendary arena item, I believe, or Mimosa item. All right, not very good. Activates once an enemy is resurrected and don't like it. Summons a ranged unit in the battle. That's just useless. I will never use that. That's a complete waste of time. We get another legendary reroll. 
maybe only legendary, not another. Uh, it's good. So that's at least three rerolls I, we have now. Maybe we'll do that in this video too. All right, love more rewards. Premium, yes, I needed that. Thank you. Another reroll. Very nice. I think we need. Oh, damage. Yes, I need that too. We definitely need to do some rerolls here. Maybe I'll just do them in the video because this is stuff that I need to do and I just don't make the time because I'm always doing something else somewhere else. So, um, 1,000 golden turds. So if you're on the fence about buying the pass, I mean, there's so many items that you're getting these low levels. It definitely seems like it's worth it. Obviously, we saw what that is. That's good. Level 58. Here's the uh, one of the ones I was excited about. I'll have to see people are using it. I don't think I've seen people using it. Um, this is... One of the great ones for the you know other games this is the one that i believe was the meta weapon um it's a minigun though which is a little bit different than what we're using in the other games um bunch of damage stickers very nice uh i don't know if this actually has a uh, meta potential in this game so um it replaced the rapid fire in all the other games and the mini sauce which is the equivalent of the mini sauce in this game so it'll be interesting to see if this one's actually better and maybe that's why my uh, maybe the the mini sauce was nerfed a bit, and that's why I'm not having as many uh, uh, as much success as I have been having. So I definitely will be trying that out, probably not in this video, but sometime soon. And then we got the armor as well. Once in a while, marks a random enemy for four seconds. Every second, sun rays hit all enemies in the large area around the mark target, dealing five thousand energy damage. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that's interesting. Doing energy damage from a gunslinger. Five more stickers. So just the two of those having nine sticker slots for damage. That's nice. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know if that's going to be better than what we're currently using, but we'll check it out. Uh, weekly quest. We finished a weekly quest. What do we do here? Ooh, we got stickers. Okay, yes. So this is just uh, day one here of uh, week three. And I also, as you can see, I did not finish all of these. I did not, I actually did a couple labs in the first week and then got busy playing all the other events and all the other games, so I stopped. But I need to spend 550 golden turds to get 225 shells. That's almost, um, not quite, but almost two levels. So two levels for 550. If we go here, store, two levels would cost 600. So that actually is a pretty good deal as far as what we're paying to buy one at a time. But if we look at this bottom one, or the second week, which I also didn't finish, it's going to cost 1,250 golden turds to get a 150 and a 100. So 250, which is exactly two levels. So two levels for 1,250. That's ridiculous. If you go to the store here, you can spend 1,450 and get five levels. So I don't know. That's the way it is in all the games. So it's no different here than any other game. But that is uh, very odd how they do that. And once again, I miss this daily because I just don't have time to do labs because they take too long. All right, so I'm at 58. I think I can make some pro... Ooh, ooh, here's the deal. There we go. Ooh, I, I think we saw this before in the previous event. Uh, all the other games have this exact same deal, but it costs $100, 99 dollars US. This one they, uh, is cheaper. I personally still think it's way too much money to spend for one sticker, but uh, it's nice that they uh, offer it at a... Can we call it affordable, more reasonable price, something like that? All right, so lots of mail here. A lot of these are tournament winnings and things like that. I just never come in here and collect things. Um, so I'll just go through, collect a bunch of stuff that aren't tournament awards, because this will give me the shells, obviously. There's not much to see. Tournament, tournament, more shopping malls. It's a little bit slow. I'm just going to blast through them. We don't really need, need to look what's in there. Certainly not winning as many wars as we used to win. And then lots of losses, I see. We're still getting first place. I'm just not getting the win, so... Obviously, my weak, uh, weak squad is not helping anything. Another 60 shells. All right, we're getting lots of levels here. That's good. So our level 58 should jump up pretty significantly here, it looks like. And as you can see, it takes some work, but I get 20 out of 20 on the shopping mall almost every time. Um, I think when I made that drastic mistake with putting the wrong squad in, I think I even got 20 out of 20 on that one, but I don't think that's going to be the norm because my enemies are significantly stronger now all of a sudden. 
One thing about this chest right here, this chest, this individual reward chest, gives you a uh, item for the identity. So um, it's a random one, so it might not be something you're going to use, but I have a bunch of these saved up, so hopefully I have a fair amount of identities I can, uh, or materials I need for my identity, so I can make some progress on those quicker once I get moving. But obviously the uh, the big challenge is the R coins. Those are very difficult to come by and take a long time. Wow. So yeah, lots of mail I haven't opened, obviously. So I told some people I was only level 58. Or I think I said 45 at the time, probably. But uh, I guess that was a little misleading considering all of... Oops. All of these were sitting in my mail. Just gonna do them all right here on camera just so I can get it done finally. Obviously it needs to happen before the event's over so I don't waste all these opportunities to get more items from the event. It's a little bit slower doing this on the emulator than doing it on my phone. Oh, I thought we were done. Are we still getting it? Yeah, we're still getting them. Which is good here because this is giving me some glitter, which I was getting low on glitter. So this is all good, all helpful. So I've been trying to do four shopping malls every day. I, I think one day I missed it. It's, it's especially hard on the weekends, but I'm trying to do four shopping malls every week every day, I'm trying to do four railroads, which are the equivalent in Zero City, and trying to do four gem bays, which is the equivalent in Hustle Castle. So um, that's just an example of why some of this stuff is difficult because everything I do in this game, I repeat the same thing in the other games because they're the same game. And then Shelter War also has an event going on as well, but it's a little bit different. It's more of a challenge style event. They kind of copied it, but they didn't really make it an event. It's kind of like a side thing that they add on uh, for a month. And they've had before, they have events going on at the same time as that, but it does require extra extra playing, extra stuff, so um, I'm kind of treating that as an event as well, and that's that's wrapping up here soon. The Hustle Castle event is wrapping up soon, um, so hopefully things will start settling down here again. And my work schedule is actually uh, settled as well, so that is all very helpful. All right, this is just... A ridiculous amount of stuff 81 days so this has been nine days of things i haven't collected it looks like we've got to be getting very close to the start of the event here and that's it the rest of our tournament reward which i will come back and get later they don't get me anything here in the event so um i like to save these up because when you get the quest that say you need to earn them which i don't know is actually part of this event but it does come in handy all right, let's see how many levels we got there. We were at 58, and now we're at 76. Very nice. And we got to the end of the event. This is, you know, my goal is to get to this level. Um, that, you know, allows me to get all the free stuff that we get on the bottom level. So, and then everything here is just five more. Um, so should, I should be able to get, you know, a few of those chests. That's fairly typical of how I do in these events. All right, let's just keep on going. 50 glitter, very nice. Another legendary add-on. Yes, thank you. Ooh, more daggers. They look pretty basic. Increased damage done. Damage, damage, crit. Okay. Ooh, no. no. I think uh, with my messed up squad, I might uh, make use of something like that. Another add-on. What do we got for the sword? When attacking, 30% chance of dealing splash damage. I actually could use this because I'm using a sword. Um, but... Um... Yeah, my tank doesn't do a lot of damage, so I don't know if that's worth adding that because giving me 30% more damage when I'm not dealing that much damage isn't that much. It's going to really increase my power, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one or not. A lab chest, uh, yeah, very nice. That's good. Here we go. Another deal, more than likely. Um... At some point, I think this is maybe since I don't have my identity workshop built yet, they give an offer to buy identity sets, and I think those are other ninety-nine dollar offers. So um, I might have been, I might have hosed myself. Not that I would have spent ninety-nine dollars, but you know, I could have probably gotten some more things out of this event if I had the identity uh, vault built. But 
That's okay. It is what it is. And I'll, I'll certainly have a, another chance later on. Speaking of swords, here's another one. Restoring. <clears throat> Legendary damage. Very nice. And an offer. We'll check it, but I'm sure it's something I won't buy. All right. What do we got? Uh, nothing I'm using. Every time I get stuff, it's stuff I'm not using. Another reroll. Wow. Where are we on the timing here? 25 minutes already. I guess I can't do too much more. Maybe I'll do a reroll or two after this. Here we go. Master chest, whatever we call it in this game. It is master chest. Nice. Lots of legendary items. I need to start opening these. I got a bunch of these sitting in my inventory from all of these games, um, events. Uh, I just need to start opening them up. Upon dying, deal splash damage. You guys know I don't like those types of things. I want results when I'm alive, not when I'm dead. To say new sticker chest that has better drop rates, that would be helpful. These are obviously great because I don't do labs. And our last, I haven't gotten many of these yet, but our last uh, big chest. Let's see what we get. Add-on, nice. Eh, nothing special. Increased damage for a rifle. I'm not using a rifle. Okay. Not super exciting. So look at these special rewards. So we got all of that done. Special rewards, we got none. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. I think I saw somebody post something today that said they were at 400 some odd levels and they got everything. So uh, obviously we know I'm not getting there. Um, that's a lot of grinding. Anyway, 76, that's that's good for me. Plus, I still got a couple of these weeklies, which will give me a bunch of bunch of stuff. That'll be done 125. That I won't do more than likely. 250, 350, 400, 450. So that'll be another three or four levels there. Plus, you know, the normal grinding. So, or not grinding. I don't think you can call what I do grinding. The normal playing. Not bad. Let's go look at our reroll situation here. Let me find somebody. True friend, I'm going to keep that one. Researcher, I'm going to keep that one. To, oh, it's an uncommon. Uncommon researcher. Uh, I certainly am not looking for that. I'm training her to be an Arcoin worker here, but at the same time, um, I don't know, maybe that's a bad idea, considering it's already a level 100 fighter. So, hmm, I think I have some options down here as well. No, what about up here? So we have five rerolls. So we got a level 100 financier rare. I have some naming conventions here. So I'm going to take a quick look to see where I'm at. Again, I don't think I want to get rid of a level 100 fighter for a rare banker. Um, it would be useful here. I have uh, everything's rare and my next lowest is uncommon. So I could make use. By the time they're fully trained, though, I'd probably have something else. So, um, oh, plus I have one right here, as a matter of fact. What is this? Legendary. This is my other, another 100 going in there. So um, probably a mistake, but I am training new 100s all the time. So it's fine. Um, so... We don't need that one, so let's do a reroll right here. Uh, we have one epic, one legendary, and two rares. So we'll save you for one moment, see what other options are. We're keeping you. Um, you, or we just looked at you. We have stuff here. What do we have here? Beefcake, definitely don't want. True friend, I'm actually using at an 85. Um, the challenge is it's going to mess up my build, but it's not fantastic anyway. So let's do this one right here. Reroll. Let's do the legendary one. All right. Oh, come on. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you can't pass up, pass up a mystic. Um, this accurate shot, I'm not using rifles. I already had one of those and got rid of it. So again, it's unfortunate. I'm getting all of these mystic uh, options uh, for workers, uh, especially for energy. Energy is something you certainly won't be needing, but maybe if I have two workers there with mystics and I won't need any other workers, but um, it's great and all, but another level 100 fighter is going to be changed into 
something else. I just can't pass up a mystic, so wow. That is interesting. Alright, time to start your training. And I need to put somebody over here to speed up this. So it's uh, <laughs> I'm losing all my fighters, which is quite unfortunate, but I don't think I can pass up that uh, that option. We didn't go back and look at this. What's this one? Ooh, here we go. We do have some uh, set, uh, level 11 items. Essences, 15 essences for $100. Um, I don't even know what the Monarch is. We haven't looked at any of those yet. We will when I get that uh, item built. Um, whatever it is, it's not worth spending 100 bucks, that's for sure. All right, where'd you go? Right here. Energy supplier. Increases energy production by 125. Energy production. So is that here? No. Energy is... Hold on. So this is actually good for energy charge, which is different than energy production, right? I don't know, I'm getting that confused. Increases energy production by 125, depends on the Roger's class level. This training limit is a five-star Roger at 100. Um, Oh, that's why. I knew something was wrong here. There we go. That's where I meant to put you. So right now, I only have two people working in there anyway. Stun shot and energy supplier. So you are making 6,068 on rare. And you... We'll be making more later. All right, well, that was disappointing. It's useful, obviously. In the long long run, long part of the game, it'll become useful, but for right now, it's just annoying. All right, what do we have down here, maybe? Respected Chef Rare, don't care about that. Another accurate shot, still not using rifles. Ignore 80% of turrets, yeah, we'll just keep it for now. Insulator. Increases energy armor. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this one either. Um, hmm. Who else can I change? Where was the, over here. That was the 86, I don't wanna change that one. All right, let's go back to this one then. Finance here. Let's do a reroll on the epic. Hmm. True friend. I already have a bunch of those. Ferocious fighter, space evader, health nut. Nothing very exciting. Doesn't really matter. I'm certainly not going to. Whatever it is, I'm going to redo it anyway. So let's just take that one. Actually, hold on. Who was this person? We can back out and then it'll come back in again. So. This is a person using Restore. From that one, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to keep it. Here again. Let's see if we can get lucky with a rare this time. Ooh, no, they're true for him. Oh, this actually has immediate benefits, but still at the same time. This is my third legendary true friend. And I have, this is actually perfect for this person, but uh, at the same time. Um, so this gives us an extra 40%. And I don't think that number is actually showing up here. I think it just happens when you're in the 
Actually, I can, I can, I have a spreadsheet with my number so I can compare and see if it is, but I think it's the number that actually, when you do the restorations in battle, that's when it has its, uh, its big impact. So, um, all right, well, I mean, that's good, but not what I was looking for. Quick charge. All right, I'm not going to use that one, I think, but it's kind of hard to get rid of a legendary. Let's keep it. All right, I'm going to save the other ones for, uh, later on what do we have what are my current fighters let me look at that stun shot actually appropriately used i don't know that it is helpful and i don't know if i'm going to keep this guy for long but for now it's okay this like i said i don't even like but i can't get rid of it accurate shot that's the one we're gonna do next brutalizer hard sword which isn't fantastic but okay Stun shot. Okay, so we're going to go do this accurate shot. I can get rid of that one because I'm not using a rifle. I already have another one, and uh, it's not helping at the moment. So we'll do... I'm two in a row on, ra on legendaries from rares. So let's try it one more time. Eh, can't get lucky every time. Uh, increases energy armor. That actually would be helpful. Increases physical and energy armor. Defender, nice. Um, not really what you put on a... Um, engineer but that's okay so that puts her power up to 209,000 though unfortunately all right i'm gonna get rid of that one too because i don't like it and our last reroll <laughs> uh, okay i guess we're gonna be a true friend kind of uh team here um all right, definitely need to redo my squad. Now she's up to 211,000 power. I have another true friend. Um, I will get this. Ugh, I got to do some work here. So uh, that's interesting because having a true friend on somebody, I just have this person here only for this artifact. That's it. So um, I'll have to mess with that build too. All right, well, we got two new mystics. We got, uh, what, one or two different legendaries now. I uh, got through the event, so made a lot of progress. Uh, definitely need to work on my squad because my squad's completely screwed up now, especially with all of that. Taking all my hundreds, making them workers, but uh, in the long run, it's going to be good. Short term, it's going to be kind of messed up for a while, but that's okay. Anyway, so not bad. Making some progress, doing good. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying the event. I know a lot of people are probably done and a lot further along than I am, but uh, good luck if you're still grinding. And I will be back soon with updates to my squad and... Who knows what else? We'll see you in the next time. So until then, this has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you later. See ya.